I often talk about how challenging a spiritual awakening can be, how dark it could sometimes feel, but I do want to talk about the light, the fun, the magic, all of those things that tend to be elusive when we really commit to this healing journey and start to navigate through the dark night of the soul and all those process of traumas that are coming up when we decide to take that next step on a higher level and navigate the ascension process. So in this video, I want to touch on some of that, how to reconnect with that if you've been feeling disconnected from your higher self, your guides and all of that magic. And um, why does it all look like this? It seems so screwy, right? Well, when we created this avatar, right? You created this body, you manifested this body. You were, you were focusing consciousness into a focal point. And as he came down through the dimensional fields, he manifested this human body. And this human body is here to anchor you to a lower dimensional field so that you could have these lower dimensional experiences. That means being cut off from the truth of who you are, being underneath or behind that spiritual veil, not knowing why you're here, what does this all mean, or how are you supposed to navigate it, right? Well, we land here, we're born, and we learn how to navigate this based on what our parents show us, what religion teaches us, what the government tells us, right? All of those types of things, education and so on and so forth, they kind of install a playbook in you as to how to navigate this field. Now, remember, you are infinite. You are consciousness, source consciousness, just focused into a very narrow bandwidth or spectrum of light that happens to manifest as physical matter. So we forget, right? Because we got these senses that say, hey, I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things, I'm touching things. This world is physical, therefore I am physical. And that's a belief that keeps you cut off from the truth of who you are. Well, you came in here to awaken to the truth that you are a multidimensional being, to awaken to the fact that you've kind of been misled your entire life. Ever since you were born, you've been misled. Now, did people mislead you intentionally? Maybe there were some nefarious actors out there who wanted you to think you were powerless, to wanted, wanted you to think that you didn't have control over what happened in your life. But there are others, like maybe your parents and those around you who truly, truly love you, that were doing it based on what they had learned and what they had experienced, right? It's called programming. So that programming was instilled in you when ever since you were born. You've been programmed to think of the world or reality in a certain way. And it's been reinforced year after year after year after year. So we go along according to programming and we get further away from the fact that we are unlimited or limitless, multidimensional energetic beings. So it's no wonder you find yourself here amidst the chaos, amidst the confusion, as the old energy structure, the old matrix, the elite system crumbles right before your very eyes, right? We've got this programming that says, oh my God, things are collapsing, things are horrible, the world's gonna end, right? And that's because of programming. What you thought reality was is now crumbling before your eyes. Are you scared? Well, that's a perfectly normal response, right? To what's happening. If you think this is all there is, then you're going to be scared as you the way of life, the way of being, the way the world work starts to fall apart right before your eyes. That's going to bring up a lot of fear. Well, that is the event. We're going through events right now that we created to be able to have this experience of ascension, meaning we need to awaken from the old ways of being, that old program or instruction book that your parents, your teachers, everyone around you ever since you were little instilled in you. It's no longer viable. It's no longer working. You have been upgraded when you've had it. If you had a spontaneous awakening, if it's been gradual for you, your light has been entering your system. You've been integrating it. You've been grounding it into the planet. You have experienced major upgrades. Your DNA activated. Maybe you started to connect with your guides, started to hear weird things, started to see strange things, things that didn't align with that programming were now starting to become known to you right? They were on your radar. You're awakening. And because you're awakening, the system or the computer that you are went quantum, meaning the old programming that was written for the old computer is no longer relevant. But yet here you are, a quantum being trying to operate or navigate life based on old instructions. You are far more capable 
then those old instructions or programs led you to believe you have been upgraded and you will continue to experience upgrades. Every time you upgrade your body, ground your light, integrate that, your DNA activates, you breathe with it, some of the old programming comes up, says, hey, this is outdated. We react in fear. That's what's happening now. Everything we're seeing politically around the world, all of this chaos is outdated. It is not aligning or resonating with love. Therefore, it is falling away. And we are here to experience the falling away. Therefore, it has to become known. You have to see it. You have to experience it. If you have been keeping your head in the sand because you don't want to see it or experiencing it because it's going to rock your world, it's time to pull your head out of the sand and observe it. It's an opportunity for you to get centered, to get aligned in the midst of the chaos. I've talked about it. It's like a hurricane coming through, the wind's whipping, but you find the eye of the storm and it's whipping all around you. But in the eye of the storm, you could find that peace, you could find that calm, you could find that stillness. That is your center. That is your heart space portal. That is that infinite tether that takes you out of this physical and connects you with the energetic, with the higher dimensional fields. Stay connected. It's in your heart space portal. I remember when I first awakened, my guide took me into a basement, my parents' old house. The basement, when I was growing up, always made me very uncomfortable. I had a fear down there. I always felt like there were like grays back there. We had this, my dad had this room that was a storage room and there was a false door there. It was a door that you couldn't see. Uh, there was part of the wall, but there was a handle that was blending in. And when you pulled the handle, you'd get back into the storage area. I was terrified to go back there. I always felt there were grays back there. They were going to get me, right? Well, after I awakened, I realized that that was a place I needed to, to go to um, and in my memory and experience that. So I went in that basement over and over again, and I felt it. I felt the energy there, and I alchemized the energy. This was all done through memory. My parents are no longer here. They moved out of that house years ago, decades ago. So it's not like I have physical access, but I have access to it through my memory. So my guide would take me down into that basement and allow me to experience that fear. And I remember one day there was this big furnace in the basement um, that appeared in this memory. There wasn't one there in this spot in reality, but in my memory, there was this furnace. And I remember my guide jumping in and out of the fire. That was my heart space portal. That was moving in and out of the physical into the multi-dimensional. So I go down there, I experience that. And I remember that through my fear of being in this space was my heart space portal. And I was able to connect there with the multidimensional me. My guide walked me through that. I am walking you through that here. When you have fear, when you have your head in your sand, the sand, your higher self is pointing you in a direction that you need to go in. And maybe it's just sitting and imagining or feeling your fears. Maybe you're visually experiencing it through your memory. Maybe you're actually experiencing it by moving into situations that freak you out. That's where you need to be. You need to feel the energy. Doesn't mean you need to do something or don't do something in the physical, but you need to experience the energy. So experience the energy. When you're seeing the chaos all around us this year, I want, and oh God, over the last four, five, six years, right? Experience it. Feel it. When things feel off, feel it. Get reconnected to that heart space portal. Go in through your fear and feel the truth of who you are. When you could stay connected to that, you're always tethered to that energy. It's through your heart space portal, right? Get into your body, get into the root, get into the sacral, get into the solar plexus, get into the crown, get into all of these areas. It makes the heart space portal more available to you as the rest of your body starts speaking to each other coherently the heart space portal becomes more obvious. You start to connect with peace. You start to connect with gratitude, abundance, love, and joy. And you move in through this portal and you realize that you are tethered to the higher dimensional fields 5D the whole time. The programming is what kept you feeling separate. Nothing has changed regarding that. The only thing is that's really shifted is your awareness. You remember who you are. So when you're in the eye of the hurricane, when you're when you're in the 
the winds of the hurricane, the chaos of the hurricane, when you're in the midst of the storm, remember the eye of the hurricane. That is the stillness. That is the portal. That is the truth of who you are. You are always connected despite what your senses are showing you, despite what your programming tells you. You are always connected to the higher dimensional fields. That's your guides. It's your higher self. It's the galactics. It's deceased relatives. This all represents energy that lives beyond our physical realm. Here's a secret. You exist there too right now. It's your programming. It's your traumas that tell you something different. These were beliefs that you, you inherited or you agreed at some point. You were shown something or told something and you chose to believe it. They're all false. They no longer serve you. It's time to let them go. Just like the craziness in our reality is all falling apart. It no longer serves the collective. Gaia is rising in consciousness. You are leading the way by remembering that connection to the truth of who you are and allowing more of that to become conscious. You're literally pulling it down into this field and grounding it into the earth. And what happens? The old programs, the collective way of being, the collective power structure no longer serves because you, the planet, and others around you are now quantum. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.